Everyone, today we're going to make a pop-up so that when you sell, it's going to pop up on the screen saying the amount you sold for. And it'll create a really nice pop-up effect. So let's give this a go. Let's go to our server script service, and we are going, not server script service, we're going to go to replicated storage. We're going to add in a text label. This text label, we're going to rename to coin pop-up. Now, inside this coin... Inside this coin pop-up, we're going to add in a local script. Now, I've got a little coin bag emoji, which I'm just going to leave there for now, so I know, uh, you know, so I don't have to keep going to copy it because I'm on computer. Now, we're going to get some script written down. This script here, this is what we're going to write. Go ahead, write all this down if you want. I'm just going to do this myself a little bit and change it. I'm going to say wait point one. Well, not change it, sorry, but I'm going to guide you through this. We're going to wait point one. This is just to allow, so from the moment the players join, this just allows, you know, a bit of time for some things to load. We don't really need to wait point one, but, you know, just allows them, just, you know, it makes it so it doesn't happen instantly. You know, it doesn't allow time when the player loads, sorry. It, when it, when this uh, pops up, it's going to wait, like, so it doesn't happen instant the second it happens, because then you might miss it. It's just going to wait a bit of time. Then say script dot parent uh, colon tween position udim two dot new script dot parent dot position dot x comma zero comma minus one minus uh, point one so minus zero point one comma zero. Now this here is basically going to animate it to the position it's going to animate it to a certain position which is going to be any uh, the x position so any x position when we set this and that's ba basically this is setting the uh, animating to the position next we're going to say wait 0.25 once again don't really need to do this it just adds a bit more time and we'll say 4i equals 1,20 do script dot parent dot rotation equals script dot parent dot rotation plus one. Now I'm just gonna quickly. Uh, I'm not gonna close this, but I'm gonna come back to it. I want to show you what this while wait does. Inside the starter you I'm gonna add in a local local script. We're gonna delete in a minute. We're gonna say while no no not while wait. So we're gonna say for. I'll show this for i equals 1 comma 20 do then I'm going to say print hello now I want to show you what this does if we run this now and if, it, if you look in the output which is view and then you click on output it's going to say hello 20 times basically what it does is it runs this 20 times that's that's all the for loop does is it runs it 20 times so we can delete that now you know, back to this one so it's going to run all this script 20 times. And then I say script dot parent dot text stroke transparency equals script dot parent dot text stroke transparency plus 0 0.05. This just adds um, over time, increases the transparency of it just so it goes from visible and then dims out. Next we say script dot parent dot text transparency. If I could spell text, not text stroke, just normal text transparency. Script dot oops equals script dot parent dot text transparency plus zero point zero five. Same thing, slowly fades it out. Then we're just going to add wait zero point zero five just to delay the time in between it happens, so it doesn't happen instantly. Now I'm just going to recopy my emoji again. Now we can close that, and we're now going to make a new script inside the start of GUI. It's going to be local, and we're just going to be called pop up, something like that. Now for this script, once again, I'm just going to paste in this uh, emoji up here. Now this is the script for this. If I go here, this is the script that we're going to have for the, for uh, this bit. Now what we're going to want to do here. Okay, this, this script's a bit more complicated, but it's quite more. It's a lot more easier to sort of understand. 
say local player equals game dot players dot local player. That's going to get the player of the game. We're then going to say uh, I've put CP there for current uh, point, but I'm going to put CG for current gems equals PLR colon wait for child leader stats dot and this is going to be obviously when you sell yourself with coins don't you so it's going to be coins dot value and I've put this as CG this is going to be CC for current coins then we say player colon wait for child leader stats dot coins dot changed colon connect like spell function now this is going to say whenever the coins the value of coins has changed so whether something's been added to it or taken away this is going to be called cool. so this will also work if you buy stuff so let's so for example if you buy something for 20 gems it'll say it pop up saying minus 20 gems or minus 20 coins sorry with the little coin bag emoji so now we're going to say if cc is not equal to player dot leader stats we don't need to wait for child anymore because we've already done it up here dot coins dot value then so this is saying if it's not equal to the the new value after it's been taken away then we're going to do what we want to do so we're going to say local random equals math dot random one comma nine hundred this is going to get the random uh, sort of position basically well, basically this is going to get the random position it's going to start in we're going to say local x new equals random divided by one thousand and then local new is equal to game dot replicate storage dot coin pop up colon clone then this is basically just going to clone uh, the pop up from replicate storage so it's going to duplicate it basically so there'll be two of them then we need to reparent it so let's get this duplicate a minute now we need to reparent it so to do that we're going to say new first before we reparent it and make it visible we want to change the text so we're going to say new dot text it's going to be equal to and then we're going to get this little coin bag emoji and put it there we can sort of undo all this now then we're going to say new dot parent equals script dot parent dot pop ups and we now need to make this so inside of starter gui let's add a new screen gui what we're going to do here is rename this to pop ups there we are. Now, now we're going to basically what this is doing is after it's duplicated it's going to set the parent to this screen here so then we'll be able to see it so now we're going to go under here I'm going to say new dot position it's going to be equal to udim2 dot new x new comma 0 comma 1 comma 0 and then it's going to set it in our random position now we just need to say let's just clear some lines here if player dot leader stats dot coins dot value minus cp is less than zero so this means if something's been bought basically we're going to say new dot text equals and then we're going to have our emoji then a backslash which i'm going to have to copy because i don't have that on my keyboard backslash n for a new line and then dot dot player dot leader stats dot coins dot value minus cp then say else new dot text equals this again but this one's going to have a plus after the end and then dot dot plr dot leader stats dot coins dot value minus cp exact same thing and then straight after here <clears throat> after the second to last end we're going to have cp equals player dot leader stats dot coins dot value and not second to last third to last end sorry and there we are and i just realized you've written cp and it's cc it's because i'm being a bit silly so this should be minus cp not c c uh, not this should be minus cc not cp sorry now if we run this this should work now it'll also appear when we load in because it yep there you are 
Now we're just going to want to edit this a bit because, as you can see, if we bring this into our pop-up GUI quick, let's make the background transparent 1, let's set texture transparency to 0, and make the text color white. That's nice. Let's then scale it a bit. Now, if we put this back into replicate storage and test it, it'll be a lot nicer. Let's give it a little look. There we are, we've got our money there. Let's quickly go sell. Well, I say quickly, but we don't really have... And as you can see, our portals are still saving now, which is good to see. So let's run over to our sell. Bad. And then hopefully we'll be able to sell. Here we are. And as you can see, it adds the money. Awesome stuff. Now, if we quickly go by, we can't exactly rebirth, but uh, it won't pop up with rebirth anyway. We don't change our coin value. If we now go over here and purchase something, you can see it says minus 9179, and it works. And obviously, you could kind of spam it, get loads popping up at once. And there you are. So that works. So that's it. Thanks for watching this video. That's all I wanted to show you. Now, let me save again. Don't forget to file save to Roblox. Maybe even make some backups so you never lose your work. And thanks for watching this video, and goodbye.